This building had been standing since the 1800s. Now there is a roped off area around a pile of debris and officials are worried what's left of the building might still come down. Here's what the back wall of this five story brownstone used to look like and here's what it looks like now after partially collapsing in the middle of the night and I heard it and I was like initially you think it's just restaurant trash closing up at the end of the night, but then it was just a cascade of bricks. Surveillance video from next door caught that cascade. Bricks, wood and dust spilling onto the alley behind the building. It sounded like thunder and uh, all that. I said, but that's strange. Bob and Nancy Timmerman were sleeping next door, but didn't know what had happened until firefighters showed up, saying they had to evacuate. And they asked, do you have anywhere to stay? And thank the uh, owner offered to put us up. The Timmermans say their building should be okay, but their car's back window was shattered by raining bricks. I'm shocked that this happened. I, I knew that the inside is in really bad shape. I never thought that the outside and the bricks would collapse. Neighbors say the five story, 120 year old building had been abandoned for decades. Records show it sold last year for more than $3.9 million. We're, we're working on it, yeah. We are working on the plans and designs. This man says he's one of the new owners and he's now waiting for expert advice about what to do next. It all depends on the structural engineer, you know, like whatever they tell us to do, you know, we'll try to make it happen. Yep. And now you're looking live through one of the gaping holes at a chandelier inside what was probably at one point a very stately building here in the south end. Now the power has been restored to the buildings on either side, but we've seen no indication that the neighbors there have been allowed to return home. Live in the south end, David Beating, WCVB News Center 5.